Hello, clarinet players. Um, so welcome to your new classroom. Um, this is how we're going to be learning over the next month. We're going to be doing new repertoire. We've talked before in the past about how to warm up. We're going to elaborate on that. This gives me more of an opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one instrument wise with you. Uh, instead of having 22 of us in a room that all play different instruments, I'm going to be able to craft 10 to 15 minute videos for you every week on just the clarinet techniques, the piece we're working on, practice techniques, how I like to practice and how you should practice. Uh, I've said it in the past, I'll say it again. It's like if Mr. Dean looked at you and said, go get strong, and then didn't give you any exercises to get strong with or how any skills to do sports with. I can't ask you to just go and get good at clarinet. Uh, I'm going to give you the skills to do that. Today we're gonna to talk about long tones um, and learning our new piece. Now, this, I, online you would have seen that I posted both the first and second clarinet requirements. I will assign you a part. Um, in this video, I will cover both the first and second clarinet parts. For the first 10 measures, it's more or less the same. It's actually the exact same. And then at measure 11, it changes, and we'll talk about what those differences are. First and second clarinet parts, one is not easier than the other. They are both just pieces to the puzzle. So, first off the bat, assemble your instrument. Once you are assembled, you can unpause me. Okay, so uh, we, we have assembled our instruments. Yeah, no, the jokes don't stop. Um, I have my reed soaking in water. I've told you that I prefer to do that than just sticking it in my mouth. It allows me to keep talking, which is one of my favorite things. Um, once your reed is mounted, you need to make sure you are in tune. You can use a tuning app for this. You can use um, a tuner online. I, in this app here called Fourscore, have a tuner right at the top. Since we are on a B-flat instrument, I will switch it to B-flat and play my C. Perfect. So, once you are up to tune, we are going to talk about metronomes. Yay, everyone's favorite thing. Now, why is the metronome not showing up on my screen here? Ah, there we go. Okay, so this is our metronome. It is sideways, it truly doesn't matter. Unless it quits on me, which it has. There we go. I've set it to 80 beats per minute. What we are going to do with our C scale all the way up, yes, all the way over your break, is play long tones. Eight beats on each note. Your priority here is to make sure the note starts the same, ends the same, and it is the same in the middle. I do not want to hear da, uh, I want da all the way through. Um, when I play it, I'm going to play all the way up, and then we'll stop for the sake of the time on the video. Uh, but I would like you to do it all the way up, all the way down. It's a great way to start your warm up every day. I choose 80 beats per minute because it's it's pretty average on Dante. Ready? You can watch me do the first couple, then rewind me and join me. One, two, ready. <sighs> straight to B. Starting from A. One, two, ready, go. Now B. Register key down. Two pinkies. And 
that's it. Other than my little mistake in the middle, those long tones are supposed to help you fill out your instrument, put as much air into it as needed, because most people can just make a note happen and make it happen for a short amount of time. It takes a lot more skill to make a note last and sound the same the whole way through. So, switching back over to four score. This is our piece that we are working on, Air and Dance by Bruce Pearson. Now, things you can immediately tell about this piece. We are not in C anymore. We have a flat, and that flat is a B flat. So, every time you see a B in this piece, there should be a B floating somewhere around here. That B, the low B, I do not see a high B yet, but we will talk about that too anyways. So, instead of a B, which is normally your two pinkies, three and three, and then thumb and register key, this one, that's over the break and harder to play, time to make your life easier, a B flat is just your A key and then the register key without pressing the hole on the back. So it's... So, Hear that difference? It is your thumb on the register key and your first finger on the key in front with nothing else closed. And then your low B flat, your low B is thumb one, two, three, middle finger. Your low B flat is thumb one, two, three, first finger. So instead of it is right? That's the one that's going to be used most often. So, looking at this piece, we know we begin piano, nice and quiet. We have these markings, which are phrase markings. They are slurs, yes, but they are slurs over a longer period, which means you have to shape it. A slur does not mean do not tongue at all. If you do not tongue at all, it will sound very sloppy and also take more breath. So in between each of these notes, lightly tongue. Do not make it staccato, do not make it da, 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 right? Just tongue lightly. So I will play from measure three to measure 11. We will talk a little bit then. One, two, ready. <laughs> Phrase markings, especially on clarinet, mean you do not breathe during the phrase. Ideally, what they want when you're rehearsed is for you to play two phrases before breathing, because the breath mark is at the end of measure six, right? Same for the next section, you have seven, eight, nine, ten, breathing at the end of ten. The least offensive place to breathe, other than the breath mark, is in between these phrases. So you could have La, sol, la, do, ti, la, la, do, ti, sol, la. Right? You could do that. Now, join me playing measure three to measure 19, and then we will talk a little bit about clarinet two. Right? One, two, ready, go. <laughs> parts shift, right? So if we look at measure 11, it starts on an F for clarinet one. If we look at 
measure 11 for clarinet 2, it starts on a D. I will play measure 11 to 19 on clarinet 2, and then we'll go back to clarinet 1. Clarinet 2, listen. <laughs> You should have immediately noticed about that is your measure 11 to 19 is exactly the same as measures 3 to 11. It is the same part just repeated. Basically what happens is you maintain that first part and clarinet 1 plays a third above, exactly a minor third above. Now we look at measure 19, it goes D, C, B flat, C, D, D, C, B flat, C, D, D, E, F, D, F, E, C, D. If we go back to clarinet one. D, C, B flat, C, D, D, C, B, C, D, D, E, F, D, F, E, C, D, F. It's pretty much the exact same part. The only difference that I immediately is notice is that last measure. Clarinet plays an F, clarinet one plays an F, clarinet two keeps holding that D. So, for this video, I will play the clarinet one part. Starting at measure 19, these notes are long. They require a really fat tone. Put all the air into the instrument. I know it says mezzo piano, starting at measure 11, but for the sake of really getting sound, it's okay to be at a mezzo forte right now. Ready? One, two, 19. <laughs> for as long as the conductor tells you to. When you rehearse with the recording, you'll learn how long that is. Now, lastly, we're going to play it with the recording. So, the recording can be found on Spotify. I will post the Spotify link. I will post a YouTube link. <coughs> and you have to start with two measures of rest. So you have to count while other people are playing. Ooh, ready? That is the wrong... Mm. Spotify is opening. There we go. Beginning band. And here we are. to my speaker. Battery 100%. As we do this more and more, there will be less technical difficulty. Okay, ready?
and that's where the piece gets faster and does more stuff. But this week we are only working on measures one from the beginning to measure 33. Um, things to watch out for, make sure your tone is there, make sure you're tuned before you play with the recording. If you are out of tune, it won't be your mouth's fault, it will be the fact that you haven't tuned. Uh, and three, those B flats will get you. That note right there, if that sounds off, you're probably using the wrong fingering. It is thumb, one, two, three, and one for B flat, not middle finger in your right hand, index finger. Cool. Uh, I will be online if you have any questions. Uh, please zip me a message during your regular school day. I will get back to you as fast as I can. And I will see you in the Zoom class on Friday. Good luck.